call that false advertising because Andrea said I died. <laughs> and I can very clearly state to you, I did not, in fact, die. Well? I just got smacked into danger. I was in the highway to the danger zone, <laughs> I'll have you know. Can you dance through the danger? Well, I, I do know the safety dance, so... Is that what you're asking? Well, can you can I dance if I want to? Can I leave my friends behind? Well, if you can't dance if you want to, then you ain't no. I, I don't remember the rest of those lyrics. <laughs> Welcome back to the final part. Yeah, the final part is enough. Is enough. We've had it with these motherfucking zombies in this motherfucking mansion. Yes, we get slash the facility picture. slash dormitory slash guardhouse slash whatever else I didn't call I didn't properly call that other area with Plan 42. I, I've, I've officially now just called it that other area with Plan 42 because uh, uh, first people were telling me no, it's the guardhouse. No, it's the dormitory. No, you actually had it right. And uh, <laughs> it's like uh, I still don't know how those could be. So movies. that that place with Plant 42 th does that work for everybody? All right. <laughs> The place where the Plant 42 resides. Yes, yes. Or that place with the zombie sharks. Because, uh, you know, that that's the one part that's kind of sad, is that they get... The, the zombie sharks kind of get overshadowed for for the duration. Um, but thankfully, in the remake, they got a, they got more of a spotlight. Like, you got you got kind of a shark movie-esque kind of feel. Oh, and I, I saw I saw Alex go... Uh, shark movie. No, 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 not, not that level of corny. Not that level of corny. <laughs> not your sci-fi shark movie. No, Sorry, no, 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 CP. no. Not, not with sharks involving tornadoes or where uh, sharks we're, we're in a shark movie that apparently we made this genetic shark that could just eat everybody uh, <laughs> out of nowhere. I mean, like, seriously. Again, going back to wrestling, but you, you I'm sure at one point you've seen the John Cena meme or the RKO meme. Probably. They've actually done one where, like, in the middle of Sharknado, there's a shark in there, and, and and Randy Orton comes in and RKO's it. I'm kind of surprised the shark doesn't come in and RKO Randy, okay? Because, <laughs> you know, that's that's the way a shark movie goes. Or or the, the, the best part is that uh, we have to conveniently... Well, first of all, Black Guy dies first, because, you know, that, that's a horror trope. Yeah. Um, but then also the, the trope of we have to somehow get the leading lady out of her outfit whether it be a bikini or just in her underwear. <laughs> into, are you saying into said bikini or out of the, the bikini? Oh, no, no, you have to get there out. She's just wearing the bikini underneath. Okay. And so at that point, you have to get her out of her outfit. And so like the, the shark will get her and then rip the, sh rip the shirt off right. kind of thing. <laughs> and then she has to go swimming, so she has to get rid of the skirt. And Andrea's just looking at us and going, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, don't watch a shark movie. It happens. It does. Are you talking about Jaws? No. No, like every shark movie. Okay. Every shark movie that's not there's Jaws. Jaws. There's Deep Blue Sea. There's uh, yeah. What's what's the one in the shark cage that they get stuck in the middle of nowhere? I don't know. There's like a dozen of those. I can't remember what that one was called, but yeah, they they always have to do that. You know, like the leading lady has to be in a bikini or in her underwear. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, and by the way, Jill. 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 What are you doing? Chris, Wesker, he is. I know. Shoot, it doesn't open. Yeah, it really oh, looks like you knocked. Wait here. I'll save you. Okay, I'll wait. Wow, did Jill get deeper there for a second? Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> yes, I did magic cut all the way back to the safe room. We did not need to go over all that ground again. <laughs> so now that we've done, now that we've met up with Jill and we've unlocked the door, it's endgame, guys. Yeah. It's endgame again. Except now you get to see, in my opinion, look, Barry's funny, but Chris's final sequence with the tyrant is is equally funny to me. And you guys will see in a second. I'm I'm just prepping for the hilarity to ensue, but also to uh Basically I'm never gonna I'm not gonna get access to a save room after this. I'm not gonna have time. And yay, magic cut again, because again, th that was actually a point where I transitioned because I actually had to go and do the last little bit as a separate recording. Because things have been busy ever since I've been back from vacation. So press the button. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes, I will push it. Chris!
Rebecca, you're safe. I saw you in the garden. I've caught up with you at last. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go <laughs> out alone. Yes, Don't sir. go out are, alone. Are you her love interest or her father? <laughs> Perhaps a bit of both. Probably both, yes. There's a father figure who happens to be love interest, but are Men not biologically yeah. related, so yeah, there you wins. Go. Well, Chris certainly did better than Billy. So there you go. You guys will get the joke when we get there. Oh, nos. So we already know the reveal. You have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars? Now you're wrong. I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face oh, are you? anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus. A biological weapon. Polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with a tyrant virus. I lost some of my star's team oh. members because of it. That sucks for you. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? <laughs> really? Yeah. Like this. <gasps> Rebecca, oh. no! Oh my Rebecca. gosh. Don't move. If you do, I'll kill you. Chris. I have something to show you now. You mean you're going walk. to kill me with the Kevlar vest that I obviously have on? <laughs> Wesker, have you thought things through? Ah, here it comes. He can still shoot you in the head. I don't think he's that good of a shot. Yes, they have a separate cutscene for Chris to look at the tyrant. One with a Jill model and one with a Chris model. Oh, look. It's got a heart outside. And its fingers might be twitching. Is this? That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Stop it. Wesker, you're pitiful. This is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. So what what does this put our count at for encountering ultimate life forms, Alex? Four? <laughs> four, maybe. Yeah. Four, yeah, four. So basically, this is a distant cousin of Shadow the Hedgehog. Just saying. Well, I guess technically be a distant cousin of the Bio Lizard. Yes, yes. Go to hell. hell. Jill will oh, she too. will, huh? Okay. I zombie butt. He's like, oh, well, kill him. Don't come this way! Must oh. kill creator! Oh. That's awesome. Goodbye, Wesker! So, this needs a little explaining. This is actually the canon way that Wesker meets his end. You can't kill me! But obviously in the Jill playthrough, you don't see this. He, he kind of dies off screen, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Uh, he gets shot by Barry, but then he kind of dies off screen before he uh, sets up the... Uh, emergency evacuation. Yeah, but this. But this is the canon ending. How he how he actually dies. He gets he gets impaled by the tyrant. Yeah, but doesn't he get knocked out at first? Damn it! <laughs> what was that? Yeah, he didn't got he knocked get, out at first. He, didn't he get knocked out and then? What I, what I'm trying to tell you is, what happened to him in the Jill playthrough is not the canon way he dies. Well, yeah. This is the canon way he dies. Mm. What a miserable death! I know, right, Chris? Hey, uh, you wasted a magnum bullet. I'm officially pissed at you. It looks like the control device for this room. There's a door lock switch. Will you unlock it? Yes. Oh. And that's how you free uh, Jill. 
<laughs> no, I'll just stay here with the dead zombie. Yes, you're going to stay with the dead zombie that obviously is going to resurrect in like the next five minutes. So let's just stand there and stare at it so that it could go right up our patootie. Okay. Oh, hi, Re hi Rebecca. Wow. Seems like this bulletproof jacket is pretty strong. I see. How about Captain Wesker? He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. Ooh, Maria, burn. I want to get out of here. I'm sorry, Chris. Is your name Hostess? Because that was a zinger. Um. Yeah, can, can we officially call Wesker an idiot? Yeah. In this game? They should have... You, you know, you he's sh wearing Kevlar. You didn't think that she was wearing Kevlar, too? Uh, I mean, obviously, we don't see where he actually hit her, but we have to assume that, like, it was in the chest area. Excuse me, Chris. What, Rebecca? I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right Does here. It? We should blow this place up. Or maybe we should take the research and go We're develop a cure. Do it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for okay. a bomb. Okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. Okay, I've amended it. Um, everybody's an idiot because, yeah, the T-Virus is not going to stop here. As a lot of people already know, T-Virus doesn't stop here. Why wouldn't you just keep the research and make a cure? Well, because I don't want it to go back to Umbrella's hands so they'll weaponize it. I, I get that, but you take those files. Uh, the, the other thing, too, is that the T-Virus isn't the only virus that you deal with. So yeah, it, it doesn't make sense to make one cure for one virus when there are oh, stronger, shit. more potent viruses we haven't uncovered yet. Yeah, but let's, no, but let's, Jason let's be fair. Food. This is the first story. Yeah. It's not like, right, we all say this in hindsight, but it's not like we know that there's other viruses and more zombies awaiting okay, us. Okay, but we, we can all agree Wesker's an idiot. Yes. Yes, yes. They should have decapitated him so he could have said he lost his head. Yeah, about that. <laughs> his death kind of triggers his reappearance. Really? Jill, sorry for making you wait. Chris! And they hug. Oh. Well, polygonally, they hug. Ten <laughs> polygonal. <laughs> yeah. Beware the polygonal yeah, hug. It is you. awkward. Let's go. But oh, we already got our love interest with Rebecca. Actually, no, they still. Uh, according to the canon of this game, which obviously has been changed, he is interested in Jill. Ah. Um, because, again, he's like. Oh, I can't remember his actual age after this, but he's like mid to late 20s. And so Rebecca's oh, quite an age gap with him. Uh, but Jill is not. Jill's like 22, I think. Let's get going. Yeah, I hate to tell you this, Alex, but Rebecca kind of gets tossed to the wayside. That's a bummer. She's aside, so cute. Aside from Resident Evil Zero, they brought her back for Zero. But um, like I, I'm... A, now, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, if you've watched the movies and she shows up again. I haven't seen every single CG movie, but yeah, she she just kind of gets shoved to the wayside. We don't see her again. That's a bummer. Um, again, if, if she comes back in the movies, let us know in the comments, because I would really like to know that myself. Oh, hi, zombies. And uh, we're going to go ahead and waste some Magnum ammo because, well, I don't want to dig out other ammo. So great to have them walking, kind of like a chicken with their head cut off. Yeah. We have to get out of here. Dun 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 dun. Let's get going. Why didn't you just go, Jill? I don't know. Don't you need to find Barry? Uh, obviously, Barry's your love interest. Where is Barry? Barry does not show up in the Chris playthrough at all. I wonder why not. Because Rebecca is the helper, not Barry. But I thought maybe you'd come across him by passing. He's never met. I don't even think in the Chris playthrough in the remake is he actually mentioned. Uh, but here's the thing. Barry gets a more active role in the Jill playthrough in the remake, and he isn't as silly. He has some silly lines, don't get me wrong, but uh, he Thanks. isn't as silly. 
They probably just improved in the conversation. Well, what's what's better is, and people correct me if I'm wrong, it's been a while since I've played with Aldo, but they actually try to ser make serious the Jill Sandwich comment. They do that. He's like, oh, you were almost a Jill Sandwich there, Jill. And it's like, did you just try to make that serious? <laughs> that didn't work. <coughs> oh, no, it's Brad. You guys, you guys gotta stop playing this joke on me. This is the last time. <laughs> Sorry guys, this this game triggers a silliness in me. Just because of the music and, and other things. Oh, oh no. Can't get it. Say it for me, Alex. <laughs> item cap rage. And that takes us down a healing item. That's okay. Because unlike Jill, this only took one attempt. Now that I was good at it, I can I can kill the tyrant. Now that you're good. Yeah, now, now that I've done it before and I've, I'm used to the strat, now I can kill him. All right, put... Oh, no. Oh, no. We have three minutes left, Alex. Yeah, we kind of got that. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. Hi, Calamon. Let me take care of them. What? Chris, get in contact with Brad right away. Okay. So he was a gentleman in the Jill playthrough. He's like, let me be the nice guy. And now, let me go ahead and feed the two ladies to the monsters. <laughs> Our hero, ladies and gentlemen. It's a shame Bill Paxton is dead, because I think he'd be so perfect for one of these characters. Oh, dude, like, there was... When when they were talking about the original Resident Evil movie, people were like, we're, we're begging, please, Bill, Ca Bill Paxton is Barry. Please, Bill Paxton is Barry. And it didn't happen, because yeah, Barry was basically written out. Such a bummer. Why? Because we needed to have edgy looking mercenaries <laughs> in the first movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thoroughly convinced they wrote out Barry's role for Michelle Rodriguez's. Hmm. Mm. That is how a flare works. Uh, tick tock, tick tock, Chris. Just, just jump on the helicopter. Forget, forget Rebecca and Jill. You won't hook up with them either anyway. Just, just go ahead and, and jump on the helicopter. But wait, this wouldn't be proper, would it? No. You need to have your final encounter with the tyrant. And where are my cookies? <laughs> I'm sorry, you were gonna do one? <laughs> just, just Run! Surprise, motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> Ow. Ow. Now, I will hand it to the to the tyrant design. They actually do make it that when he strikes you, the the hand changes a little bit in color to show that he does have blood on his hand. Right. That's that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty insightful for for early PlayStation uh, PlayStation Capcom. Whoa, he's fast. Yes, he is. This is why I'm not taking more than one shot, because it's just pointless to do that. And I'm down to my last five bullets. Can I do it? Can ah, you? That's four. Four more bullets. And rocket launcher. Okay, so now we're good. Destroy the monster with it? I've never thought of that before. Thanks, Brad. I actually had to think about his name. <laughs> Hi, thanks. Thanks, forgettable ho helicopter pilot. All right, so it's time to do the big nuke. Say it, say it with me, Alex. It's so satisfying. Whoa. Game over. <laughs> Smile, you son of a bitch. Boom. Boom into a million pieces. A million polygons. <laughs> with four arms. Apparently he had no legs. Oh, no, he had one leg. He had one. But his entire midsection gone. And what does this mean for us? It means we get off the island. Well, it's not an island, but still. Did we get voted off the island? <laughs> Did the tribal council vote us off the island? Council of Monsters. 
Hi, CG helicopter. Everything in this game is CG, Adam. Yeah, the crappy, like, FMV CG from PlayStation era. Okay, so now you get to see the Chris cutscene. Man, of it makes you feel like this is like um, Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park, yeah. Yep. This is how they should have ended Jurassic Park. Should have blown the whole place up. Now, the only ending that you guys haven't seen is when you don't free your, your captive. So it's just Chris or it's either Chris or Jill in the helicopter alone. It's feeling all sad. Oh, she's sweeping. She's cute. He's like, I just scored with these two hot babes <laughs> and it will never, ever matter. Hell, I don't even get a spotlight in the next game. They gave it to my sister. <laughs> and that's it. There that it is. is Resident Evil. So now that you've seen both the campaigns, Alex, final thoughts. Was this worth it? Yeah. You know, again, I enjoyed the atmosphere. I enjoyed this, the game story. I enjoyed it. It's not a game I'd want to play myself, but no. it's definitely an enjoyable watch. Now, here's another interesting concept that I forgot in the credits. Um, you might notice that Kimiya Hideki comes up. Mm -hmm. He does uh, eventually leave to go and create the Devil May Cry series and that's and eventually to go create Platinum Games. Right. So uh, people did mention that to me that they wanted me to point that out. And obviously Shinji Mikami has gone off to do other things like reinvent survival horror with the evil within. Uh, and then Andrea, final thoughts for you. I thought both endings were pretty good, you know. As corny as they both were. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's why it works. It's why it, it's why it really works. This is why um, even though this game is crap, like by all Resident Evil standards, we still love it because it's hilarious. And that's going to go ahead and do it for us for Resident Evil. We thank you guys so much for joining us on this summer journey that literally took the entire summer. Um, and of course, we will see you guys for the next playthroughs. And we have listened to you guys. Resident Evil has officially entered the list. And uh, you guys will be seeing Resident Evil 2 very soon. But till then, we'll see you guys next time.